Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I am Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, what do we have on the bar today? Well, we have Pure Kentucky. This is a Willet product that I don't know a whole lot about, but I know that you like this one. I really like this one. I took a chance on it, knew absolutely nothing about it uh, at a liquor store, I don't know, eight months ago, a year ago. Picked it up. It seemed like for $35, you get 107 proof. And, oh, well, I didn't realize it was that high of a proof. Okay. And I forget the age on it, but it's actually aged quite a while. And um, it punches above its weight for its price, I guess, is what they kind of, like, assumed. Well, it better. It's got this fancy wax yeah, stamper on the front. So, I mean... Good-looking bottle. Yeah. I mean, so, you're, you're making a statement when you put that on there. Yeah. So, small batch bourbon. Okay. Yep. So, I've had this one time, but it was, a, it was when you first got the bottle. So, about a year ago or so or whatever yep. it was. And it was just a small pour and, yep. you know, I... I don't remember what it tasted like. So this will be kind of a fairly new experience sure. for me. A little pour here. It does have a bit of a unique flavor profile. And mm -hmm. I think it's maybe a Willet thing where um, there's something that's... It, it's definitely a bourbon, but there's a unique element to it as well. So I've had that with other Willet products. I've had a couple. Yeah. Um, I haven't been the hugest fan of the couple that I've had. Sure. I had the, the one I had, uh, Noah's Mill, and that was pretty good because I think the proof really mm -hmm. helped that. Um, and I've had Johnny Drum. Mm -hmm. we, well, we have got a video about that. I don't know if it's been put out yet at the time of this one, but... Okay. Yeah, it definitely has the same sort of... There's something unique in their process, and I think it has to do with their distillery or something but something in their process creates just a unique flavor profile. And I like it, but I, I definitely understand that it is... It's different, it's for sure. It's definitely different. There's, It has a bit of that grassy note, mm -hmm. green forward note, that I don't tend to like. Yep, but I would under, agree. I, I'm definitely getting that on the nose. Underneath there, there's some rich caramel trying to come through. Kind of rich caramel and wet grass. Yeah, which is an odd combination, and it sounds weird to say that, but it really, you know. Yeah. And so the grassy kind of note is the one that is a bit off-putting to me. It's just, for whatever reason, it's just not, mm -hmm. you know, in my wheelhouse. But this one doesn't have it quite as strong. Well, you can't do reviews and like every single one. Right, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to go in for the taste here. Let's get like oh, a honey, wow. honey note on the on the initial flavor. I mean, there's this, the the alcohol content. The one of seven proof is definitely noticeable. Um, I like it on the palate a little more than I than I do on the nose. Mm -hmm. This one has kind of one of those like where you take the sip and then the heat kind of comes builds back up. Sure. And with that, and we've had this in a lot of bourbons lately, so. Um, I hope this isn't repetitive, depending on when we put these videos out. But a nice cinnamon note to it. Mm -hmm. well, um, so I don't know what the mash bill would be on this. Yeah, but, I, I'm not sure. Um, um, but almost like we've said before, a, like a big red gum, which I don't get it that strong. Like I noticed some cinnamon, but it's it's subtle. That's but it, it, it's not that it was that bold. It was yeah. that kind of cinnamon, oh, sure. like that candy yeah. cinnamon, sweet cinnamon. Not like the cinnamon you put on toast or something like that, but like a cinnamon flavor I didn't realize those were different well you know what i mean like a, a red hot is a cinnamon oh, candy but I, it doesn't taste like i, I understand you saying. know what you Never. would put on your yeah. your cinnamon toast in the morning <laughs> you know real cinnamon <laughs> um yeah i don't uh i don't mind this i think my favorite thing about it is kind of that initial flavor you get when it hits your tongue and i I call it kind of a honey. It's got kind of like a coat, coat your tongue kind of feel. And um, 
Yeah. It really carries the flavor to the back of your tongue. I didn't get the cinnamon quite as bold on that second sip as I did the first one. So maybe it's just the way the sure. proof hit me or whatever, but it was good. Mm. The second one, a little bit more of like a vanilla caramel, honey, like you were saying. Yeah. Sweetness. What is this? So the 170 you said? 107. Okay. And this is available most places? I see it everywhere. We're in Minnesota, and obviously there's a little bit of regional difference right. in what's available. I would imagine if a place doesn't have this, it's just because they simply don't have it, yeah. not because they can't get it. Or... I would agree. Yeah. it's People choose not to carry it because they only can have so many $35 bourbons. Right. It's not a terribly popular one. Like, I don't really see this one on reviews or on, you know... Right, you know, bourbon-related content on like Instagram or yep. YouTube and stuff like that. I mean, I've I've seen it before, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't show up very often. And I think it's um, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised with the palette on it, to be yeah, honest. I totally agree. I, I think with and you know maybe it'd be fun to do like a Willet flight. We should because this I don't have a lot of Willet products, and I feel this is quite different than a lot of things we do drink. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's definitely it's it's unique. Um, and like we were saying at the beginning, Willet kind of has its own... Yeah. You flavor. can definitely tell. Sure. And with the Johnny Drum, I can't remember what proof that comes in at. It's less than this, but I think it's... Oh, I've got a bottle of it back here. It's right there. Yep. Yeah, so it's 100 proof. 100, hmm. 101. Um, but I feel like maybe the proof and, and then having that Noah's Mill, I think it comes in at like 114. Mm -hmm. Maybe the higher in proof kind of complements that flavor a little bit better. At least that's what it seems like on this. Yeah. We should put together a flight. Yeah. I don't know what their mash bill is or if they have yeah. more than one. Neither do I. Um, but if this is all the same mash bill of the the three of their products that I've had, mm -hmm. it definitely seems like with proof, it kind of complements. It's the right direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It complements the flavors a little bit more. And that's kind of interesting, too. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's kind of what's another fun thing about tasting different bourbons of the same distillery and same family and same mash yeah. bill is seeing that progression, you know. Hopefully it's a little bit longer in the barrel and a little bit higher, you know, proof. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It really helps it. So you put this in your recommend category for sure, I would imagine. Depends on how big that category is. I mean, <laughs> I, I really like it. I mean, if you told me choose five, I don't know if it'd, it'd make that list, but... Right, right. But I, I genuinely mm -hmm. like it. Yeah, I would say that this one is definitely going to be different than your traditional bourbons. If you're used to drinking little more kind of a standard, mm -hmm. you know, flavor notes that you like that are kind of universal. This one definitely has a little something different to it. But that also makes it kind of unique. Makes it unique, so, and so it may be exactly what you like. Totally. That's the thing. You may not like it, or you might drink this and go, yep, I want more of that. You know, yep. more of these products, more of that note. So, totally agree. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun one to experiment with, for sure. I'm pleasantly surprised with the, the palette on it. Excellent. So... All right, well, this has been Pure Kentucky. I am Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers.